Thank you very much. Attorney General Ken Paxton, Republican from Texas now. Attorney General, uh, just if you could give us your top line thoughts on how what the Democrats say they want next in this whole process, Title 42 and so on, how that will impact what we're living through right now. Look, it, the, the numbers, as Casey said, have gotten worse. We've doubled since Biden came into office a year ago, and it's quadrupled since Trump was in office. So the numbers are getting worse. They didn't even put the numbers out. We are in a lawsuit that allowed us to get those numbers. That's the only reason we have the actual numbers. They're trying mm. to hide them. And they're continuing to try to move people across this country as fast as they can. Doesn't matter if they have COVID. They're not tested. They're not vaccinated. Doesn't matter if they have a background in crime. They get, they get invited, and they get moved around the country on purpose. And do they have to live by the federal ma masking mandates and all the like? I mean, I know we're giving the masks as they cross the border, but as you're pointing out, we don't have the resources to test everybody. We don't know what, what the situation is. We do know we're in a pandemic. I do know this. When, they, when Texas catches them and they come across private property, we do test them. So I don't know why the federal government isn't mm. testing, because that's such a big deal. Supposedly, the Biden administration, when they are threatening to fire Americans if they don't get a vaccine, it seems like, you, at the very least, you would test people that are coming across the border. Or at least try to and, and be successful at it if you could, if lives really depend on it. Um, look, with the numbers, people understand the visuals of all of that. But is there something that's going on to warrant this? I, I, I'm curious why the numbers are so high and why people are willing to harm themselves to get here. And I want a quick warning. The images that we're about to show, disturbing to especially young viewers, they show people entering this country illegally from South and Central America, sewing their mouths shut in protest in a desperate effort to convince the Mexican government to let them move in and then move north to the United States. So they're trying to get here. And this is this is what is this? Yeah, this is the cartels. I mean, they're recruiting people to come because they make thousands and thousands of dollars off of each transportation into our country. So you've got uh -huh. that. And of course, I think you've got the Biden administration wanting to get people here as quickly as possible before they potentially get shut down by the courts. So they are they are in recruitment mode. They're not in keeping people out mode. Yeah. And so people are just desperate or the cartels are making them. I mean, we know the cartels have put bracelets on them to keep up with them like cattle. I mean, it's it's mm -hmm. unbelievable. General Paxson, uh, you're making some moves on federal mask mandates right now, which could have an effect all over the country uh, if, if you can get what you're seeking. You tweeted yesterday, just filed my 22nd suit against Biden, this time regarding anti-science, virtue signaling masks on air airlines and airports. Masks on planes are not only silly, but illegal too. And we're seeing Democrats all over the country finally rolling back some of their mask mandates, but the president has not caught up yet. Let's unpack that a bit and just start with your fight. And, and really, more than 20 times. Yeah, so we, and it's, it's consistent. It's about the same issue. It's about the federal government, it's about the Biden administration creating law when really that's up to Congress and that's unconstitutional. They don't have this role. And that's, what's, that's where our problem is with the mask. The CDC does not have the authority granted by Congress to do what they've done with masks. And certainly they don't have the authority to make it criminal, which they have suggested this could be just with a little edict from the CDC. They, they don't have that authority. That, that would be completely in the purview of Congress, not the, this agency. So how have they gotten away with that? Well, part of it is, as you can see, we have 29 total lawsuits with the Biden administration right now. It, we have so many issues that we've had. They just try to roll out thing after thing after thing, none of which are in their authority, none of which are constitutional. And we can only take on so many fights at one time. So it's just taken us a while True. to get to this issue. But this is just another example of the Biden administration trying to force feed us without having the authority to do it. And is that where you are on the airports and the airlines, too? Because you say what they're doing is illegal. But try to get on a plane and try to stay on a plane, General Paxson, if you're not following that, because it's not for the airlines, it's federal, it's, it's top down. Yeah, and so the airlines are in a terrible situation. It's probably hurting their business. It certainly makes it more difficult for them to do their jobs, but they're being told by the mm. federal government it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a law, it's not the law. It is made up law by the CDC and by the Biden administration to force feed us into wearing these masks that still haven't been proven to work and certainly haven't stopped the transmission of COVID. Yeah. 
Look, we, we were now told cloth masks don't work. They're sending homes N95s. Unless you're a surgeon, I don't know that you're trained to put on an N95 and then stay in it until it leaves divots in your skin all day. They do that saving lives. I, I don't know if you're going to put that on a two-year-old. There's so much here. Uh, you're in the fight, and I appreciate you coming by the focus. Glad to do it. Have a great day.